What's up YouTube? It's Matt coming at you again with another in the bag. Uh, this is for my 2022. Um, the last time I did this was 2017, uh, just about five years ago, and a lot has changed in the bag, I will say. I still play disc golf a lot, um, although I'm not, I don't really play competitive much. I don't have a PDGA uh, number. I play mostly amateur and mainly just track my self-progression. Although um, I love the sport and I watch all the current Jomez videos and all the, the latest tour events. So um, I'm pretty current with all of that. Uh, just some things about me, some of my favorite players. Um, in no particular order, I like Eagle, McMahon, Paul McBeth, Calvin Heimberg, and James Conrad. Those are my four favorite. And you'll notice that um, that kind of correlates with the discs I throw. Uh, my top three favorite manufacturers are Innova, Discraft, and MVP. Um, so let's take a look. I'm sure uh, as many of you guys have, um, you know, I have upwards of 50 discs. But um, as of late, I've really tried to dial down my bag, um, you know, just kind of taking that minimalist perspective. And uh, really, I found myself on the course, you know, having all these options and throwing discs that I've barely thrown before and, and really gravitating towards certain discs. So what I did was I just figured, hey, why don't I just take a bag with all the discs that I gravitate towards you know, have it maybe eight to 12 discs or so. And, and that's kind of what I'm up with. So, you know, I have a backpack and all that, but five years playing this sport, I've dialed down to just this bag. So I'll start with the putter. I uh, gotta be honest, I bought the Paul McBeth Premier three disc bag um, and loving every disc of that. So starting off with the Soft Luna, flight numbers three 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 zero three. Um, although it would say it's very overstable because of the soft plastic, I believe it stays a little more neutral in that flight. Um, not not the best putter in the world, going to be up front, but this puppy has been sinking, especially from that 30 plus range. So I love sniping with this thing. Pretty straight flight overall. It'll fade a little bit for me at the end and um, not the best in the stronger wind conditions. So moving on to my nest disc in a, a better, a, more of a further approach disc, I got the uh, Discraft Zone Z four three zero three flight numbers. This thing is super overstable, and um, I feel more confident to putt with this in, in more headwind. Uh, whereas the Luna, I, I don't know if it can take. I, I haven't thrown the Luna enough yet, but I feel like this this is much more um, reliable in those wins. So this is my next, next disc, disc in the lineup. And those are actually it for my putters. I'm trying to keep it simple these days. So I just got the Luna and the uh, Zone uh, putt and approach really. Um, and my next in my lineup, I just have the one uh, from the bag, the, the Malta, which is a really overstable mid-range and this thing's pretty sick. Um, I could put this on a force over Annie and it'll flatten out straight for me, kind of keep a long, nice straight line. Throw it on a hyzer, you know, you can guarantee it's going to keep that line. Um, I like this so far. It's trusty. Um, like I said, with the Luna, I haven't thrown it enough, like super long yet, but I know it's got a spot. And uh, I did, I'm just digging the, uh, the coral as well, that color. Pretty sick. Um, that's it for my low end of the bag. Um, now I got um, two kind of fairway drivers. Um, I rock the old school 2016 Metal Flake T-Bird 3. This thing is a freaking meat hook. Um, 8402. It, it's always trusted to come back left even after all these years. It's super overstable. Um, and even on a force over an Annie I can get that long kind of S curvy really kind of manipulate the disc to, to go where I want in that kind of, I throw this in like the two, 250 kind of range. So that's kind of nice. I like this. Also pretty solid for the uh, forehand. 
Um, I like overstable discs for forehand, just because I played baseball and I kind of throw it on that almost that slight ante. And when, when it's when it's forced over like that, I get it to you know kind of do its curve. But I don't really throw forehands on a f um, pure hyzer outs. That's something I can't really dial down yet. The other one I got on Amazon, um, I believe it's uh, it's Axiom Insanity. And this thing is pretty insane. This is like my flip over, kind of more flippy fairway driver. Collar pink lemonade. But yeah, I'll throw this on a hyzer, it'll flip to flat. This thing goes dead straight basically on a on the slightest hyzer. And if I want to turn it over, I can do that as well. Get get more turn lines with that. Um, but I don't really like flick with these. I'm more more of a James Conrad type thrower. I, I barely want to bring that forehand out you know I'm, I'm more of a backhand thrower so um really can carve this one to do what i want um and now yeah like i said i got eight discs currently um so i just got three drivers um starting with the 11 speed pro um photon got this on the jomez mvp um <clears throat> let's see yeah, photon. Anyways, this thing is like flat, crazy overstable, and it's guaranteed to, um, you know, fade. So I, I, this is actually my main flick disc. I, I love this thing for that. So I'll even use it within 200 feet because I'm not the best at flicking, but still I get that guaranteed route. And um, also it's, it's like somebody said in like one of the comments when I was looking into this disc, it's kind of like an easier to throw destroyer, and I think that that holds pretty true. Um, super overstable, so if you throw it on a hyzer in the wind, you know where you're gonna get. Um, like it a lot, very trusty. Um, coming back to the Paul Macbeth Premier, um, I got the Zeus. So um, yeah, I'm not the furthest thrower, I don't claim to be. With a high speed disc like this, I think the max maximum I've ever thrown um, kind of flat ground was is about 350 feet. So this kind of reaches that and this has only been, you know, barely broken into. So I like this guy. It kind of flies like a destroyer. It's a 12.5 negative one three. So you would think it'd be exactly like a destroyer, but um, I don't know, maybe it seems a little more glidey. I like it though, so far. Um, so. But finally I got the Shrike. So this is my max distance. You know, if I'm in an open field, uh, just trying to, you know, launch this thing, this is what's gonna get me, you know, that 350 feet. Um, you know, for, for people maybe like me, more amateur style, not the quickest arm speed, but this thing will still hyzer flip for you. And so you can put it on a hyzer route, flip, get that full flexure, and um, really get the really sick flights with the strike. Um, definitely recommend an understable driver for people who are trying to look for bigger distance without the arm. Um, I like this guy. It also can stay like good low line, so you can throw it on a hyzer, flip to flat, stay real long for a while. So this is a, uh, might need a new one of these soon, but this is, this is a sick disc. That's all I got. Um, hope you enjoy. Um, let me know in the comments. And if you like this content, I can put out more. So thank you.